Newton's second law states that a force is equal to mass times acceleration, or F equals ma. You know that your weight is just your mass multiplied by the acceleration of gravity. The acceleration of Earth's gravity at the surface of the Earth is 32.2 feet per second squared, and is commonly referred to as g. We can use this in our equation to replace a with the g. Now let's look at the left side of the equation, the F for force. It's not hard to see that your weight is actually a force that demonstrates Newton's second law. So if I step on the scale with all my required flight equipment, we can see that I weigh 155 pounds. Then putting that back into our equation, 155 is equal to m times 32.2. If we divide that out, we can see that my mass is equal to 4.8, and a unit we call slugs. It's a funny name. But the name's not important. Remember that number, because when everything else changes, mass stays the same. Yeah, flying in an aircraft, we often experience more or less than one G, depending on the maneuver we're performing. That's all going to affect my weight. You've probably experienced something similar in a roller coaster. When you come up over the top, you get real light in the seat makes you feel like you're going to be thrown out, but then when you go to the bottom, you get pushed down towards the floor of the car, makes you feel like you're really heavy. We experience the same thing in this aircraft, except to a higher degree. If we pull a 2G turn, we're going to feel the same thing as you would in a roller coaster, except now, my weight's going to be 309 pounds. And why is that? Okay, let's roll out and talk about it. The reason that is, is my gas stayed the same at 4.8 slugs. And 1G is still 32.2 feet per second. But my G factor is now 2. So I multiply that all out. It comes out to be 309 pounds. Not bad, eh? Okay, now that we got a pretty good handle on that one, Let's do four Gs, and we're clear left. Okay, so there's one, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, and there's four. Okay, how much do I weigh? And if you can hurry, that would be good. Okay, we'll roll out, and back to waist level one G plate. Okay, if you said 618 pounds, you're correct. 618 pounds may sound like a lot. But you better remember that an acrobatic pilot, or a fighter pilot, routinely pulls 6, 7, 8, sometimes even 9 Gs during the course of an aerobatic show or a dogfight. If I pull 4 Gs, I pull I weighed 618 pounds, but at 9 Gs, I weighed 1,391 pounds. That's a lot of force going towards my feet and legs. And all the blood has a tendency to leave my head and my chest. If too much leaves my head and chest, I can black out. That's why I wear a G-suit. As I pull more G, it inflates, squeezes my legs and my stomach, keeps the blood from going down there, and provides an opposing force to the G's. The opposing force is what Newton's third law is all about. 